Hi, I'm Russ Mitchell, and welcome to Eye to Eye. Katie is off. The Tomb of the Unknowns at Arlington National Cemetery has been guarded every minute of every day since 1937. Chip Reed spoke to some of the Sentinels about what it means to guard the final resting place of some of this country's fallen heroes. Perfection is everything to us. Uh, that's what we strive for. Uh, our whole job here is to honor the full, fallen soldiers, the unknowns mostly, but, but everybody who has fought and died for this country, they gave the ultimate price for us to be able to be here. So uh, we strive to be perfect in everything that we do so that, uh, so that we can honor them. When we measure our uniforms, we measure it to 1 16th of an inch. As in, you know, that's how we try our uniforms as close to perfection as we can. When we press our uniforms, we don't want no folds on our uniforms. We press right on the seams. You know, we burn all our uniforms to get all the fuzz off. We burn all the yellow to make sure nothing's hanging off of it. We sand down our buff straps. Shoes, you can spend five, six hundred hours on a shoe to get it up. Five or six hundred hours? You can spend up to five, six hundred hours because I can spend all day shining, take my shoes, go home, spend all weekend doing it. Since I've been here, I got here September last year. I earned my badge about two weeks ago. So you're looking at eight months of shiny shoes, probably spending somewhere two, probably for me, four to five hours a day, shining shoes here, then take them home, shine them. And that's not counting the weekends where I might start maybe at 1,300 and end around 2,800 because you got to shine them, let them dry, let them sit around, come back, shine them. So, I mean, it's just a constant process. Just from walking every day in the, um in the sun, uh, this uh, sterling badge doles out a lot, wow. and so you have to come back, um, you know, every couple of days and just touch it up, and it, you know, it's a constant working process. Now, where do you wear this badge? We okay. wear it on the uh, right breast pocket of our uniform. So this is very visible out there. Very visible. This is actually what it starts like, and uh, by the time I'm done, the back of this will be uh, just as shiny as the front of it. Um, you know, that's that's our. Uh, um, so you're shining things to perfection that people don't even see. Right. I mean, every, everything on our uniform is, is, uh, is shined to the highest standard. And just because somebody can't see it, um, uh, doesn't mean that it shouldn't be shined. Oh, I... You guys are out there 24-7. Yes, sir. Rain, sleet. Yes, sir. Snow. Yes, sir. Blizzard. Yes, sir. Everything. Stinking hot, humid, sweating like crazy. Yes, sir. I mean, like the past two days, the weather's been really bad, but soldiers will be out there. No, no little umbrella walking no along. No umbrellas. Um, they could wear a rain jacket. Yeah. Rain jacket or a Gore-Tex cover, something yeah. just to keep them from getting wet. 21 is the highest salute that we can give to anybody. As in, when the president comes into the cemetery, he gets 21 gun salute. So that is the highest form of respect that we could pay to the unknowns. So once they're outside and at the mat, wait 21 seconds, walk down the mat 21 steps, they'll pause, face DC, another 21 seconds. After that 21 seconds, another pause, face, change so shoulders, because the weapon should always be away from the unknowns showing that you are guarding them. So that's why they changed the weapon to where the weapon will always be away from the unknowns itself. And they'll do 21 seconds and they'll continue to do that for the 30 minutes or hour, depending on how long we're out there. It's probably the best job I've ever had, most fulfilling anyway. So I rank it as probably the top of what I've done so far in the military. Why is it so fulfilling? To watch the soldiers and actually to look out the plaza and to see what we're doing because we never let our guard down, and I kind of look at it the same way as, you know, this is a sacred hill in Arlington, and, you know, we keep a watchful eye on this every night, it's the same way that the military does on our country. So, you know, being here, watching these guys do what they do, and watch the commitment they have and responsibility and dedication they have to it, it's fulfilling to me to watch the younger soldiers and see what they get out of it, too. It is very hard, but we know what we're here for. 
So when we go out here and we see family members that come here and they look at the unknowns and thinking that, you know, maybe that's a fallen brother or father or somebody that they're akin to, you know, that's the reason why we strive for perfection because we want to show them that we will never leave this post unguarded.